Okay, so Great. first things first, Josh. Sure. How are you? I'm good. I'm very good. Yes. Yeah. Good to hear. Before we talk about the new record, mm -hmm. I'd like to delve into something else. When did you first start to pick up painting? Uh, about five years ago I started painting. I was living in the woods at the time and uh, and I wasn't, I was having trouble writing songs and and, uh, and the thought came into my head, I, I'm just gonna start painting. So I ordered s some big like two meter canvases and and uh, and a bunch of paint and just started painting. It's like makes me calm. Do you remember the first couple of paintings? Oh yeah, yeah. There was like the funny thing about like painting is that I've never tried to be. It's it's never something where I feel pressure to to do anything that that uh, that that feels good or perfect or whatever. It's not like songs where I I, I put the pressure on myself. You know, uh, with with painting, I'm just completely free. Yeah. And with painting, obviously, uh, a quite a different artistic expression than, than writing a song. So what did it give you? And then, like you say, with, with regards to calming down? It gives me, painting gives me relief. Okay. You know, I wake up in the morning and my head is spinning with, with whatever has been accumulating in the nighttime. And, 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 you know, if I go through the day and I can't get it out, I, I get crazier and crazier. Mm -hmm. and, and, and painting seems to calm calm me down it makes me uh, makes me appreciate the moment I can just I can be quiet I can I can think my own thoughts you know and uh, and painting just as a it's it's like the the electrical current through the wire there's the the, the low impedance everything just feels very uh, natural right yeah and well you say you don't put any pressure on it but now one of your paintings is uh, the artwork for yeah. the album yeah so, so what was that like to, to go through what you've been making and, and kind oh. of select it for what you were? Well, it's so interesting. You know, when I think that all, all, the, all the stuff that we do to create uh, during a certain period of time is all linked together. It's all part of a big uh, soup, you know, mm -hmm. of stuff. There's all these ideas, and they're all in there, and, and we may not even understand what they are at the time. I, I certainly, when I'm writing songs, I don't know what they're about, you know, until I'm done, you know. And with the same with a record, I don't know what a record is really about until it's done. And 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 with art, that's the same. I found that as I was writing the record, I was also painting, and and they the 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 things that were uh, coming out were storms, you know, storms of of like interior and exterior storms and, and these these pictures of, of storm clouds gathering were really important. Um, they just seemed, I, I didn't know that they were all had to do with that, but, right. but they all came together in that way. So now with a bit of distance, do you know why that kind of popped into your mind or those kind of themes? I think it's because we're living in a world that is upside down and, right. and, and full of storms and topsy, it's just absolutely uh, uh, there's tumult, and uh, and and, I'm, and I think that's art's job is to pick up on that sort of thing, mm -hmm. and and I think that that it did. Yeah. And you say you do put a lot of pressure on yourself when writing songs. So and well, this is this from the bio, but you you um, you mentioned that I found an electric dissatisfaction. Yeah. So can you tell me, uh, well, what, what was your mindset as you started writing for the album? Well, I've been writing music now for 20 years, and, and in all that time, I've 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 lived with this other side of me that is dissatisfied with what I do, and dissatisfied when I when I wake up in the morning with what I'm with 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 my efforts and with my my uh, my my achievements, and and I at with this last record, I started to realize that I have to be I have to be friendlier to that person. You know, I have to be nicer to that person. That, like, you know, I I have to be willing to 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 appreciate that there's a side of me that's always going to be striving to do something new, and and that 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 it's not something I should be hard on myself about. It's something mm. I should look at that that guy in the morning in the mirror and think that that's you know that's who I am. Like, right. like be be okay with it. You know. 
I find that interesting because obviously, well, you've uh, done quite well for yourself. You have, a, mm. I believe, a best-selling uh, novel. You, you, you've released a couple of albums. So, so, what do you base success on? Why do you still feel dissatisfied with with kind of what you were making? Or? Well, success is like success is a is a is a slippery fish. You know, right. it's like it's you have to decide uh, what the uh, you have to decide what your what 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 defines success at every moment you know if i had told myself 20 years ago you know like uh something i would have i would have i would have if i could tell myself that now i would say like you can you can appreciate every every little uh every little victory is 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 important you know every little th you know one gets on a roller coaster so they can get to the end you know you go on a roller coaster to be on the roller coaster and right now, right now, sitting here, I'm I, I, I'm lucky. I, I, I'm here. I'm in the Netherlands. I'm talking about my own music. I'm like, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it, it, it can it, it doesn't have to add up to anything more important than that. It's it's like exciting and it's an adventure to be to be on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, the interesting point is that uh, well, you've made uh, music for twenty year uh, twenty odd years, mm -hmm. uh, written songs for twenty odd years. Is it? Does that make it more difficult to be creative and then to, to satisfy yourself in that way because you've already gone through so many songs? I think the 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 the, the difficult thing is to continue to stay really hungry, you know, and to continue to to continue to uh, to push yourself and to 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 have confidence that what you're doing is the right is the right thing to do, you know, right. like. The, like there's, there's, as you, as you continue to make work, you know, the voices in your head don't, don't uh, diminish. They just accumulate. You know, mm -hmm. you get. There are more. There, there are more voices saying you can't do this. Okay. There are more voices saying you should do this. There, are, there's just many more competing uh, uh, drives, mm -hmm. and 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 the one that you have to pay attention to is the one that says like. Uh, that that you know you you want to just keep on doing the, what you're doing at, at at whatever it is at the at the at the highest level you can right. yeah and before you got into to your own album you yeah. helped Bob Weir with with his album yes so, so did, how yeah. did that experience kind of uh, bolster what you just mentioned well working with Bob Weir working with a member of the Grateful Dead was a uh, 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 a an honor and um, it was. It was an experience which uh, transformed a little bit how I, I I approached my new record, and it was the idea that that you have to keep an open mind, you have to keep an open mind as to what a song is from the moment you create it, through to the moment when you introduce it to your band, when you're uh, when you're recording it, to when you're on stage playing it for an audience. Like you have to be, you have to allow that song to unfold and do its own thing. Mm -hmm. And 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 travel with it. It's it's once the song is done, it's an animal. You you have you have no idea what it's going to do. You have to be able to appreciate it as it does its own thing. Mm -hmm. And Bob Weir had taught me that in in, in a in a in a big way. He taught me to appreciate the creative moment, mm -hmm. not not what I expect to happen, but what happens. Then, is it difficult to to kind of let your expectations go? It is. Yeah, it is difficult, and it's like one of the major things that I think is that that. That can impede you as an artist is 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 your preconceptions about right. what 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 something should do. You know what a song should do. You know a song. You just have no idea what a song can do, or or you know, or where a song will travel. You know, music is so is like water. It just goes everywhere. You mm -hmm. know, and it's and it's and it's important to let it do that and not try and not try and hold it back. Right. And then added to that is, uh, as, as a, a public fi a figure of sorts, mm. people have expectations of you as well. So, and I believe that's something you tried to let go for, for this uh, new record. So, yeah. did, it, did it hold you back before? It can, the expectations of, of what people... Absolutely, it gets in your head. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, it could, because, you know, this is a, I mean, like, music is not a stable existence. You know, it's a tenuous one. You know, your 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 career and your uh, your your life and your ability to do things are based on whether or not uh, people uh, invest 
in your music. You know, if come to shows, buy records, listen, spend time with them. And it's, it's, you know, you have no way of controlling whether people do that or not. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so there's always a temptation to go out and, 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 and try and make something that, that you think, you know, people are just going to like. You know, but really what people want you to do is to make something that you like. You know, to go on to go on the adventure that you want to go on, and 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 it's important to remember that because so much of the time the the focus is on selling records and like selling records, but really it's about it's about trying to make something that is like new and original and 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 a part of you.